O Sanctissima, O Most Holy is a Roman Catholic hymn in Latin, seeking the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and often sung in various languages on her feast days. The earliest known publication was from London in 1785, presenting it as a traditional song from Sicily, but no original source or date has been confirmed for the simple melody or the poetic text. The tune is often called, Sicilian Mariner's Hymn, or similar titles, referring to the seafarer's nightly invocation of Mary as their maternal protector, Our Lady, Star of the Sea. The tune has been notably reused for the German Christmas carol, O du Frolicia. Oh, how joyful, the English recessional hymn, Lord, dismiss us with thy blessing, and the first half of the American civil rights anthem, We shall overcome. Similar Latin lyrics have been set to entirely different tunes since the 1500s, by notable composers and arrangers including Leonard Kleber probably editing another composer, Louis Nicolas Clarembeau, E.T.A. Hoffman, Antonin Dvorak, and Fritz Kreisler using a melody of Arcangelo Corelli. Topic. Latin lyric and English translation Topic. Below is a common version of the text, many other versions exist. An 1820 book claims, without verification, that the first lines of the Latin text were already engraved at Speyer Cathedral at the time of St. Bernard of Clairvaux 1090 Topic. Widening circulation Topic. After being published in Edward Jones's miscellaneous collection of French and Italian ariettes in 1785 as The Prayer of the Sicilian Mariners, for voice and harp, then anonymously by European magazine in 1792 and then by an American magazine in 1794, by the early 1800s, O Sanctissima was spreading widely in multiple languages. J. G. Herder included the song posthumously in his prominent book of traditional folk songs Stimmen der Volker in Liedern, 1807, while Haydn Hob. XXIIIC, F2, and Beethoven Wu 157-4 each wrote choral arrangements of the Latin hymn. A German-language version, O du Frolicia, C.1816 became a well-known Christmas carol, with original lyrics by J. D. Fock referring not to the Blessed Virgin Mary, but rather to Jesus himself and his day of birth. In English or, in another English-language rendition In the 20th century, a group of textual variants commonly known as O oh Thou Joyful became popular in the United States. Although most of these texts are anonymous, one has been attributed to William Glass. By 1835, the tune with its first half repeated also came to be used for the English recessional hymn. Lord, dismiss us with thy blessing, and by 1945 it appears to have influenced the melody of the American civil rights anthem, We Shall Overcome, with a close match between the first half of both tunes. References External links Topic. Media related to O Sanctissima at Wikimedia Commons. O Sanctissima. On YouTube, The Cathedral Singers, Richard Prue.